Number 7. Katshi. You've probably heard of Katshi from Final Fantasy, which is apparently based on the mythological creature with the same name. The appearance of the mythological cat is that it is a big cat, could go as big as a bull, with black fur all over except for a bit of white spot on its chest, and they are known to be malevolent. So the cat she would haunt the Scottish Highlands and stories of it can be found in Ireland as well. There are a few stories about the cat she, where some say that a cat she is a witch that transforms into a cat. The witch may transform for only 9 times with the final transformation being permanent. This definitely reminds me of the cats and their 9 lives. Then some stories says that they are fairies, which are typical of most Scottish or Irish mythological creatures, and they like to steal the souls of the dead before the souls can pass on. Thus, there are old traditions toward these catchy from getting the souls, such as music or laments would be played because the catchy would be distracted to dance, fire should not be available in the room where the body is so that it is cold because the catchy likes a warm room, and even catnip would be spread throughout the rooms of the house except for the room with the body because even if it is a spirit, it is still a cat and they still like their catnips. Number 6. Brolakan This monster would linger at night on empty roads near the outskirts of towns, lurking and waiting for a victim. They aren't picky of their victims but seems to like children the most. They have no definitive shape and prefers to hide in the shadows and would almost always be near water. Their size could vary between 2 feet to 7 feet in width. It has glowing red eyes and would always be hidden in misty fogs during the dark of the nights. It would only come out of the shadows when they want to enter into a person or animal, possessing them and controlling the body. The one being possessed by it would have red eyes, just like the brolahan, and the color of their body would also get darker than normal. The victim of the possession would not last long and will die very soon. There is a ritual and special herbal medicine to drive the spirit away from the body, but with the cost of getting everyone who are present cursed by the spirit. Number 5. Selkie Selkie means seal in the Orcadian dialect of the Orkney Islands in Scotland. They are sea creatures that seems to be interested in humans often seen by the shore lounging about while watching humans or even further into the sea with their heads poking out of the water. They look exactly like seals with an exception that they can turn into humans which are of course very beautiful humans by taking off their seal skin as if taking off a costume. Then once they turn into humans, they would dance, play, or bask under the moonlight or sun at outlying scaries and shores, just like how most humans would do at the beach but they would all be naked. The seal skins are their way of transforming back into seal form and they are bound forever in human form if the seal skin is lost in whatever way possible. Now because they are beautiful creatures, there are a lot of stories where men and women alike were attracted to them. For women, to make contact with a male selkie, during high tide, you need to shed seven tears into the sea especially if you have an unsatisfying sex life. Then a male sulky might just appear and like most men, would happily accept the offer. For men, there is no specific way of calling them over. But most folklore about men and selkies goes like this. Man tricks sulky girl into handing him the seal skin. Man forces sulky girl to marry him with a condition of giving back the skin. If they have a child together, and would end with the man destroying the skin. Or the sulky girl somehow managed to obtain the skin through chance, which of course led to revenge. There are a few exceptions where the man doesn't even know the wife is a selkie until an event where the husband is drowning and the wife had to go save him by turning back into a seal. Number 4. Trolls. They are short, apparently ugly and shy. Probably shy because of how people perceive them. They are nocturnal creatures never appearing during the daytime and they would enter households when the inhabitants are sleeping. They would come into houses just to keep warm and sit near fire. They are said to be invisible except to certain people with a gift to see them. Normal people could only see them when they are touching those that has the power to see them. Also, they have a thing for musicians, often kidnapping or luring them into their dens and then asked to perform. Number 3. Kushi The Kushi is a mythological hound that is said to be the size of a young bull and looks like a wolf. From Scottish folklore, they are usually green in color, has shaggy fur, and has big paws while the Irish always see them as black 
dogs with glowing eyes. So whenever the kushi makes its appearance or three barks are heard, it means that there would be death. A bit like the Erdhane in German mythology or the Banshee in Irish mythology as stated in my previous videos. But of course, with an exception that you can try to run for your safety. That is, you can try. There are also stories of them being pets or work under fairies and would either help them during huntings or help kidnap women. The woman would be abducted by them and would be forced to work for the fairies by nursing fairy babies. Also, they have this power where they could appear and disappear at will, a bit like teleportation, so it would be really hard to hide from them once they know your location. Number 2. Kelpie you might know the name from a 30 meter sculpture in Scotland called the Kelpies of two horse heads sticking out of the ground. Now, the Kelpie in folklore is another shape-shifting creature that usually looks like a horse but may appear like a human mostly male but sometimes with or without hooves and of course breathtakingly beautiful. They are said to mostly inhabit the locks or rivers of Scotland. The horse is said to have a long wet mane which has water weeds in them and green seems to be associated with them may they be in horse form or human form. While in horse form, they would look like a magnificent and tame horse, tame enough that it looks like you could ride it. But be warned, you should never ride it because once you're on top of the kelpie, a sort of adhesive would start to form and you would be stuck on top of it and dragged into the water until you drown where it would devour you. Number 1. Nessie What's a Scottish folklore creature video without the Nessie of Loch Ness? Some believe it's a cryptozoology creature, while some just believe it's an old tall tale. The creature is said to either has a long neck with a huge body or a serpent-like body. The Loch Ness Monster was earliest reported to appear in the year 565 in a book written in the 7th century called Life of St. Columba by Adomnan. But rather than the Loch, it is said to be a creature from the River Ness. Sightings of the creature are seen throughout the centuries but no one has solid proof of the existence of the creature that might just be a myth. But stories of creatures found near water is a common thing. Because if you think carefully, the water is a scary place. Anything can be in the waters, and since Loch Ness is a very big lake, imagine 16 million and 430,000 gallons of water, anything could lurk in the deep, dark lake.